Um, hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. Today I will have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be presenting the Sennheiser MKE200 directional microphone which I have it right here. So in the past I have used the Rode Video Micro Pro I'm sorry, the Rode just Video Micro and which I have it right here. Uh, this is a very popular uh, on camera mic and this is also not cheap it's a bit expensive and then I have also used a cheap uh, BOA uh, mic shotgun mic which is BOA BM3011 but uh, I was never happy with the you know product or with the sound quality and I was looking for something better and that's what you know made me to buy the MKE200 so before I unbox the product I would just like to go through some of the uh, specs right here so the it has two very unique features and one of them is that built-in shock absorption and wind protection so for example if you take a look here uh, the shock absorption uh, bridge or you know the device is already included which is staying inside the mic so you don't have to like you know take it out and put it back like a road video micro and also there is a built-in uh, wind screen which is right here and also you know they have uh, there's an additional windscreen uh, so that should uh, be very significant recording outdoors and uh, cutting you know wind noise or other noise you don't want to hear and uh, they actually offer different types uh, or different models uh, there's like an MKE 200 400 440 600 but the reason I like this one is that it doesn't require a battery and it doesn't it's very small and you know uh, unobtrusive so it also works with you know smartphone or camera so i just wanted to keep my uh, recording gear and everything minimal when i travel and this is a perfect match to travel one with one bag because you don't need a lot of space so i'm going to open this up and i'm going to you know Take a look at it and then later on I'll just you know uh, add sample clips and I'll give you my opinion and this is a non-affiliated unbiased review uh, there are no affiliated links I purchased this with my own money uh, no one uh, paid me or sent me anything to do a review so whatever you're going to hear they're totally unbiased and true so let's try to open this up and let's see if we can uh, open this easily uh, so we have uh, this packaging right here so what I can tell you about the box is that you know it's a very nice uh, nicely packaged uh, product uh, usually Sennheiser products are this way and it's uh, not too you know over designing but not minimal designing either so it's just very eye catchy and I, I liked uh, this way so I'm opening the box here and so I see there's something here so they just gave a quick setup instructions uh, which is right here how to you know, install this uh, and let me just remove this cover and we have looks like a small you know brochure or manual I'll just set it aside uh, and then we have a small pouch which is right here and it looks like actually very high quality it doesn't feel or you know look cheap so I'll just you know set it aside here and then we have the wind muff. Uh, this is very kind of velvet smooth. Uh, it doesn't feel cheap anyway, and it feels very expensive. So just to show an example, if you compare uh, other wind muff, uh, for example my boa, then you can tell the difference that you know this looks much more expensive and better quality than the cheap one. And I'm just going to set this aside here. And then we have uh, two different uh, types of cable, uh, which one, one is for camera, uh, uh, which is TRRS and one is for smartphone. And that's a very good thing, so you can use it with the smartphone. And that's my purpose actually, because I've been doing a lot, you know, lots of live uh, videos and I need a better uh, mic system. So this is uh, a good addition. And then I'll take out the mic and let me just take a quick look so the bag or the box is all empty uh, we'll just you know close this box and set the box aside so the very first thing 
I'm noticing that how light and small it is. It feels like you're holding nothing and although it is plastic but it doesn't feel any way cheap or uh, not a quality product. It has the quality all over it and it's a very high quality plastic and just by looking at it you have the feeling that you know this is going to uh, work and this is going to be a good product. So at this point I'm just going to stop here and I'll just you know do more testing and I'll just like you know find out some more about the product and then I'll attach it to this part of the video. So when you have, when you are watching the whole video, you're going to have uh, you know better idea with the test clips and everything. Thank you. Hello everyone. I took my time to use the Sennheiser MK200, and I'm really impressed with the results. And today I'm going to show you some comparison with uh, the Rode Video Micro and just the regular uh, camera audio quality. And also I'm going to add some clips which I used. Uh, with the Sennheiser MK200 outdoors so you'll be able to see the difference so let's start with the first uh, audio testing without any uh, microphone and this is just the you know camera audio you're going to be listening audio testing one two three one two three this is the mic or this is the camera mic you're hearing uh, there's no additional mic attached to the camera this is the camera's original audio audio testing one two three audio testing one two three this is Rode video micro audio testing one two three this is Rode video micro attached to the camera audio testing one two three one two three audio testing one two three this is the Sennheiser MK200 attached to the camera Audio testing one two three. This is the Sennheiser MKE two hundred attached to the camera. Audio testing one two three. One two three. Audio testing one two three. So you heard the audio from uh, both of these uh, Sennheiser MKE two hundred and the Rode Video Micro Pro. And now I'm going to touch some you know outdoor clips from Sennheiser MKE uh, two hundred. One thing I'd like to mention that. Uh, I even tried this one without the wind muff it provided and even in windy conditioners conditions it looks like that you know uh, it works just fine without the wind muff the reason is that it has a built-in wind muff inside it so it protects like you know good amount of wind but if it's like a storm or really really windy then you can use the wind muff but you know I um, I have been using this one without the wind muff and I, I have never had any problem because it cuts wind very good even without the wind muff. And one of the audio clip, clips you're going to be seeing has some wind noise in it but you're going to see that you know there's no wind noise because it's, this is just cutting the wind. So watch some of these clips, outdoor clips using this one without the wind muff and then you will be able to see and compare. Uh, in my own opinion, this is the best uh, YouTube microphone or microphone to touch to your, you know, GoPro or camera or anything or when you're vlogging. And the size and the audio quality is uh, unbelievable. And you're getting a very good deal uh, at this price. And my own opinion is that, you know, this is a lot better than a Rode Video Micro or any other available microphones uh, on the market. And again, uh, this is not an affiliated or paid review. I purchased this with my own money, no affiliated links, so I will not be making any money from you by clicking through the affiliated links. So you know you can rest assured that the opinions are honest and unbiased. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, there will be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly. Thank you. Uh, there's a lineup to enter the restaurant. And this is actually Toronto Police Department's main unit, and this is where they park their police boats.
and you can see that the restaurant is busy 